Welcome everybody back to school. We're gonna start with making our sketchbooks and we're gonna do a little different. There's no gluing involved in this one. This is just gonna be a Coptic stitch. Um, so you're going to make your signature. So you're gonna have 25 sheets of this paper right here. And what you're going to do is each one is gonna get folded individually. So you wanna make sure that they're creased really well. So you can kind of fold them loosely to begin with here and then I just take my fingernails and I kind of crease them across there and the reason that you're doing each page individually is because you want that crease really good on each paper so that when we start stitching together they um, you get a nice tight stitch with all your signatures so all of the pages will be individual like this first and then your next step is going to be putting each one of them together into a signature. So that means five pages. One, two, three, four, and five. So five pages, this is one signature. So when you are done, you should have five signatures, all right? So then your next step is we gave you this skinny sheet of paper and this is your dummy, okay? I even have that right on there, your dummy. Um, I didn't measure anything. All I did was I folded this in half first and I opened it up and then I used a pencil and I put one dot a little bit closer to the edge. Then I went to the other side and I came in a little further, you know, to make sure that this distance is a little different. Uh, and then I just centered the next two dots in the middle there. So you only need four holes. So your next step then is going to be to take this dummy and put it inside each one of your signatures, okay? So this is just one signature. And in your bag, you have a little T-pin. So you're gonna take that T-pin and you're gonna poke right on that dot that you made down and out, down and out, down and out, and the last one here, down and out, okay? So each signature is going to have these four holes. And if you want, you can take your T-pin, kind of make your holes a little larger so that when you move to stitching, the needle goes in those holes a little bit easier. So each signature then is going to use the same dummy. I'm gonna line it up against the edge, line it up in the middle. And even if my hole was a little off from my dot, I wanna go through my hole then. Okay, so make sure that you go through each hole that you made for the previous one, okay? And then I'm gonna take my T-pin and I am going to make my holes a little bit larger. Again, it just makes stitching easier. All right, so all five signatures are done. I pre-did some of these so it's a little bit quicker here. So all five signatures are done. And this is where I'm gonna show you real quick. This is what's nice about the dots being different on each side because you can see what lines up. So if this is wrong, all I gotta do is turn my signature around and now all of my holes line up pretty well, okay? So my next step is I'm going to take my dummy and I am going to fold it in half. And right where I poked my holes, I'm going to do that on my cardboard too. So I'm in only about a quarter inch here. You don't have to come in very far. We gave you a little bit extra on the cardboard here. And you're going to either draw your polka dot on there or you can put a little polka dot with your pin, your T-pin. And you're gonna use your T-pin to poke a hole and then make that hole larger. And then you're gonna use this cardboard as your template for your other cover. So a cover and back. So making those holes large so that the needle can fit through. And then I'm going to just put my cardboard together and then the same thing, I can use my T-pin or a pencil and just make that mark and these holes then will line up with the holes in your signatures. Uh, you also have thread in your bag. You, it is a waxed cotton thread, so nice, strong, durable thread. I'm gonna use red so that you can see what I am doing and how I am stitching. 
Uh, this is the Coptic binding. Uh, so when you do your regular binding, um, when you come to the end, it's a kettle stitch. Uh, the whole Coptic binding is actually kettle stitches, just repeating the kettle stitches. Whoops, I tangled my thread. Don't tangle your thread. We can cut this out. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so when you're starting off, you are going to thread your needle and you want a short piece and then long piece here, okay? So you are going to start inside your first signature, okay? Either end, it doesn't matter, but you're going to start inside and you're gonna leave a little tail, okay? So hopefully pull slow so your thread does not tangle. Okay, so this is inside, inside my first signature. And I am going to stitch right to the book. So I'm going to come over the top of the book cover and I'm going to push my needle through. So it's gonna make a loop at the top. And eventually it'll be nice and tight, just like that. And what I wanna do is the easiest way to do this is if I were to go and hold this like a tent, I'm going to go back through the same hole that I just came out of, okay? So making sure that I'm going inside this signature and it should pull tight. You want your Coptic stitch to be fairly tight. All right, and this first one, I'm gonna tie these two together in a knot just like you're tying your shoes. All right, I like to triple it. And then because we're on the inside, we're gonna go next door and come out the neighbor's house to the top of the signature again. And we're gonna do that exact same step that we did on the first one. You know, so the thread goes across in the inside here, we're gonna go over the top and we're going to come back through the cardboard and it's gonna create a loop just like it did over here. And we're gonna go back through the same hole that we just came out of. So this is why I like to hold it like a tent because then I can hold it nice and tight. And I'm pulling that thread nice and tight again. And so now I'm back on the inside. So I'm just gonna go down to the neighbor's house. So it's like we're connecting the dots, coming out the top. Over the top of the cardboard. So that it creates that loop. and then back through that same hole again that we just came out of. So four holes. All right, coming down to the end here. There we go, couldn't find the hole. Okay, so I'm coming out to the end and this is where it's gonna be a little different. We're still gonna go through the cardboard. So on the other side, so I went over the top and through that way. And instead of going back through the same hole that we just came out of, we are going to add our next signature. So our very next step is I'm going to pick up the next signature. And the first thing I'm gonna check is to make sure that those holes line up. If it doesn't, just flip it around. So now we're gonna do the same step we are going to cross the street, go into this hole, so directly across the street into this signature. So now I'm in the second one. And just like we did on the first one, inside, I'm just gonna come next door out this neighbor's house right here. So this is the part that if you've done traditional binding before is 
like what we do at the end of the block, we're gonna do a kettle stitch. So you're going to take your needle and go underneath the piece of thread that is holding the cardboard and the first signature together. So all I did was slip my needle underneath that piece of thread so it locks it into place and now I'm going to go back into the hole that I just came out of. All right, so I'm pulling that nice and tight. Okay, so I'm inside. I'm coming down the street here to the next hole. And it's okay if that got a little loose because I can just pull it tight again. And I'm gonna do that exact same thing. And I can go this way or this way, doesn't matter. I'm going underneath the piece of thread that's holding the cover and the first signature together. Whoops, my needle came apart. All right, I thread my needle real quick. Miss B mishaps here. Okay, so now I go back in the same hole that I just came out of. Okay, so I'm inside signature two, okay? Coming down to the end of the block, out this hole here. And just like we did at the end of this block here, we are going to do that kettle stitch right there, so underneath the piece of thread, but I'm not going to go back into the hole here. I am going to go into the next signature, all right? So when you add this next signature, make sure your holes line up. Then you can hold that like a tent. You are going to go across the street into the third signature. Oops, I didn't go through all the papers. And that is what is going to connect your second and third signature. So we're gonna do the same thing that we're gonna to go to the neighbor's house, come out the neighbor's house here. And now what we're going to do is for each one of these now, we are going to put our needle underneath the previous signature. So this is the kettle stitch between the second and first signature. And it is, it's a little tough, so you kinda of gotta squeeze your needle out there we go okay so it is connecting between or underneath the first and second signatures a kettle stitch and then you go back through the same hole that you just came out of okay so we're gonna we're gonna speed this up a little bit and I'm gonna finish these signatures because it's the same pattern throughout the everything. So I'm going to come out this hole, kettle stitch under here, back into the same hole, come to the end of the block, kettle stitch here, add the, the fourth signature. So we're going to do that and then I'll show you how to end it. And you're good. Okay. All right. So you can see that I finished and put all my signatures together and it is the exact same stitch all the way down. So that kettle stitch going in between each one of these signatures and it makes this kind of like loop around and then back through that hole. So you're going to end it the same way that we started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up my cardboard. I'm going to make sure that my holes line up and just like we did on the cover on the back here, you're outside. You're going to go over the top of the piece of cardboard and you're going to come back through. My thread doesn't want to cooperate. There we go. All right, come back through. So it makes that loop just like that. And so you go back then through the hole that you just came out of. All right, and it's okay if it gets a little loose, you can always tighten it as you go. So you're gonna see, you know, it can get tight like that. So I am inside, I'm holding my, my last signature like a tent. So I'm coming out the house next door here and it's gonna be the exact same process that we did on this one. So I'm gonna go over my piece of cardboard and come out that hole there so that it creates that loop over the top of the cardboard. And then I'm going to go back through that hole that I just came out of. 
All right, so I'm gonna pull that tight. So it pulls my cardboard up and I'm just gonna slide my hand down so that it comes out the hole next door. So it'll come out the neighbor's house. And same as previous, over the top of the cardboard, through the hole, pulling it nice and tight. And it'll straighten out as you release the book. Back into the same hole that you just came out of. All right, pulling it nice and tight, coming out the last hole here, over the top of the cardboard. And you are going to bring this into the last hole here. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna put my needle in here. All right, so I get that nice and tight. And I'm gonna open this up so you can see how we're going to tie this off. So I'm in the last signature here. And I'm make sure I went over the cardboard, yep. Okay, so now I can tie this off. So I'm just gonna slip my needle underneath here. And you have this nice big loop. You're just gonna take and put your needle through that loop and it makes a knot. I'm gonna do that one more time. So put my needle underneath the thread here, take and put it through that loop and make it nice and tight. And then you take scissors, cut it off and you have your book. <laughs>